We have um, World Series. Any baseball fans in the house? Yeah? Yeah, the uh, World Series, they had uh, completed and uh, celebrated by killing four people. Four people, and uh, that's how they celebrate, I guess. You know, some people just like, I guess in the old school days, it'd be like, hey, let's go pop some bottles. You know, now it's just like, hey, let's go flip some cars and shoot a few people, bust a few caps. Go figure. I didn't know, ba I, I didn't know baseball was uh, that gangster. Let's do a quick impression. Before, before Ebola. Bless you. Oh, you need a cough drop? You okay? After Ebola. After Ebola. You want to shut the f up? That's pretty, that's pretty rude. All right? I'm trying to do, you know, my thing here. I was quiet when you were in the back. I'm sorry. Been here the whole time? Okay, well, that's pretty rude, man. You know? I'm trying to do an effect and everything, and some people want to hear it. You know? And if you don't, just respect, disrespect them, just, you know? Anyway, so, after Ebola, you know? Hey, man, what are you trying to... <coughs> hey. Anyway, after the fact. I think cure for White House fence jumpers is, just, why not bring John McCain back, you know? Let him retire, you know? He ran, lost, you know, kind of bitter dude. Wouldn't he be the perfect guy to be guarding your lawn with a bazooka? He has a meta war that he hasn't liked, right? He'd be like, bazooka here. <laughs> Get off my lawn. The president will be like, Don, you can't shoot him in the back. Can't kill him. Uh, time change and everything like that, one in five uh, accidents are fatal. And uh, they say that's because of drowsiness. But uh, anybody do public transportation? I do public transportation. You ever, do you ever, do, you ever doze off on the bus or the max? And you wake up 20 miles away from your stop. You know, feel so good. I hurt so bad on that long walk back. I was uh, today watching folks uh, during uh, lunch break. They were uh, doing something that was really kind of funny looking, but it was power walking. You ever seen power walkers? They got this thing kind of going on like this, and they're dead serious. And many of them walk faster then I jog, you know, they, but they're moving, you know. And I thought, to me, yeah, I guess there's some benefits with, uh, with power walking, you know. I guess, you know, there's, you know, power walking to the restroom, you know, trying to get there. You're racing somebody, it's a power walk race. You're trying to get to the restroom, somebody's there. You'd be like, hey, hey, wait a minute, dude. You know, hey, this is my spot, back up, you know. After school or after, uh, after work, you know, probably walking to the car, trying to get there, get inside, <laughs> NASCAR. <laughs> Holiday shopping season's coming up. People got their umbrellas, kind of doing the roller derby thing, you know, you're kind of doing the power walking, trying to get that, you gotta get that big screen, you know, you gotta, you know, get it. Power walk, dinner's ready, you're hungry, we're in America, man, trying to get to power walk. One more piece of cheesecake in the refrigerator. Power. Greeting cards that are, go around a lot. And I thought about doing an unconventional type of card, put out there on the market, and see, uh, see if it flies. We got a card for, greeting card for all occasions. One occasion would be for road rage. Road rage with chicks. Chick says, uh, let me check you cut off in traffic the other day. If your testicles were football, I kick a hundred, I kick a hundred yard field goal. Another one for another occasion would be if you were not bigger than me, I punch you in the face for cutting off my bicycle during rush hour in traffic. You don't have to give it to somebody. Give, give them the card. You know this card would be Susan's greeting, and hopes that your next auto accident is a fatal one. <laughs> Cards for all types of occasions. We gotta have an alternative card. There's gotta be a heartbreak session. Heartbreak se section, right? For the heartbreak. I love you, 
and I can't stand you even more. I love you, but I can no longer afford you, so please leave before I burn the house down while you go to sleep tonight. Left eye. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, happy holidays. Still wondering why you slept with my best friend, you ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I'm David Little. Thank you for listening. Good luck. Love you guys. Thank you.